Welcome back everyone, it's Electrified 90s bringing you another video from Thronebreaker and in this video I'm going to talk about the Battle of Turnifen and how to complete the optional objective but before we do that, let's go to the deck and I'm going to talk to you how about how to set that up so first thing you want to do is make sure Meave's leader card is the Rivian Broadsword where it will damage an enemy on the other side as well as trigger loyal abilities you also want to make sure you've got some Forager, Delirian Arbalest, a couple of Wagenberg as well. Uh, anything that essentially attacks the enemy is what you want to be looking for. Anything that doesn't attack, uh, do any attack damage, you want to try and remove from your main deck. And I'll explain the reason for that in a minute. So this is where we are on the map. We're in Turnifen. And this is where the battle takes place. Meave's force made its way. So we're going to order our men to attack. Up. And then you've got the optional objective, which states capture three Imperial caravans. So what we need to do is make sure that all three caravans get removed from the battlefield during the gameplay. So you've got special rules, it's a shortened battle so it'll only last one round so passing will fail this battle. So I'm going to go through the Nilfgaardian leader ability and the ability of the caravan in a second. Right so let's just make sure that we redraw correctly so that we've got the cards that we need. Okay so we've finished redrawing now and these are the cards that we're going to go with. At them! Valyria! Okay, so the Imperial Caravan, whenever it's attacked, it moves forward one row. So as soon as we attack it, it will move forward one row. And then if it's on the opponent's side, the timer will count down. And what we want effectively is a timer to count down to zero so that we can capture the caravan. And the Nilfgaardian Commander's ability is it will give an armor at the start of each turn. If it's on the opponent's side, it will move it one row away so randomly if we've had more than one caravan it will randomly move the caravan away from us so effectively what we want to do is when we get down to the last caravan we want to try and keep it at the bottom okay so let's go i'm gonna start off with wagenberg on here And our turn. 152, 154. And we want to go across the caravan, the war wagon. And we're going to end our turn again. Rubbing duty again? Oh god! Okay, and now what we want to do is use the two leader abilities to get all of these across to the other side. So, let's Wagenberg first, and then Meave. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move move these two across first and then we're going to move Abolition the Arbalest to attack. And then we're going to end our turn. So the as you can see it's moved no. one back across. Ah. Okay, so what we want to do now is bring out now some waste of time for one like me. 
and then wait for Meave's broadsword to be activated again and then what we're going to do is have Reynard reactivate everyone's abilities. Okay, so as you can see the count the timer counts down. Left, right, left, right. That was nothing to smell books. Okay, so as you can see, the timer counted down on that caravan, so it's now disappeared and been removed from the battlefield, and that is effectively what we want. Okay, so let's take this arbalest back into our camp and then we're going to end our turn again. Okay, and now Meave's ability is back active again. We're going to reintroduce, we're gonna introduce Reynard back onto the field and that way he's going to be able to uh, reactivate the orders for both of these. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use Meave to attack these guys and then what we're then going to do is use Wagenberg to attack them again on this row to bring them down to the last row. Okay, and then we're going to attack this row, bring them down to the last row. And we're going to move the light infantry across. And that's the end of our turn. Yes! Ah! Scheiße! In time! Now what I want to do is put the arbalist here, send this one back down to the other side, and then end our turn. It hurts her. And then as you can see, the one at the bottom has been removed from the battlefield, and then we've got one more that we need to remove from the battlefield. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Count Caldwell to put between these two so that I can what? Who dares? bring on another Arbalest Laria! to attack him, keep him on this side, and then bring on the war wagon. Guy better right like a wolf I am. Okay, so that's our turn done. And then we're going to end our turn. And then he can only move it up one, which means yes. the timer is going to count down to zero. Splendid! One last push now! Not a black clad to remain within sight of Dravagrad! And there we go, and that's how you keep all the caravans from going back over to the other side to be able to complete this quest. Uh, let me know if you had another way of completing that quest, or if you did it a quicker way, or a better way. Um, feel free to put anything in the comments um, and let me know. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope that helped everyone to be able to achieve um, getting all those three caravans to time out to capture them before you're, you've run out of cards and you need to pass. I hope that helped everyone to complete this, uh, the main objective of that, of that battle. Thank you for watching everyone.